What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 2 of Wolf Pack. So, last episode we met the pack. Everett, Blake, Harlan, Luna. We met them. We saw how Everett and Blake got bit. And we also learned that the wolf that bit them or whatever is going after them to kill them. And you know, I kind of thought that was weird because it's like I didn't think they would want to kill them considering like that can bring him more power or whatever. But we're just gonna roll with it but yeah by the end of the episode we found them like coming together and like meeting as a pack for the first time and with that i'm kind of ready to see where it's gonna lead to like what other shit they're gonna get into so i guess let's get into the episode blake blake like, it's so weird that she's like the only one kind of like freaking out really like efforts chill about it and then she's just She ran all the way to that shit God damn Yeah, uh, that's Evan Everett Everett He's Everett, she's... Blake! Everett and Blake, they... <laughs> he just doesn't remember their name at all. What about you? How come you're not saying anything? I'm not as good a liar as he is. Funny. I like you. <laughs> so... You guys are seniors. Yeah, I kind of knew that. We should talk to them. I didn't expect them to be like in the grade below them to like, I thought they were all the same age. Before the next full moon. Stop. That's why you don't mess with the driver. Both were. I can show you. But it's like, didn't they also have like marks on it in a way? Like that only them two could see or something? I thought there was going to be something totally different like but then why would the wolf or whatever go to his house? But then it went it went to Blake's house. But there's also no one there. You? Yes. Yes what? Yes, you you look angry. Um we don't tolerate parental abuse. What the fuck? Hers is fully gone too. <laughs> was that just a hallucination? Or was that like actually her? Because I mean, she still, she still just changed. So if she has trouble changing and shit, it's normal. She doesn't have control yet. How is that bitch just silently ringing? Oh. It was a new message. Like a voicemail. You're not safe. I just want to know who it is, like, contacting them like that and telling them that they're not safe. Because obviously he's trying to help, I guess. Search and Rescue is working overtime to find him. 
But the helicopters can only get so far in the wind and smoke. They run out of fuel. They have to deal with complex downdrafts affecting their land. I'm gonna I'm a be so mad if that man dies. Right now, he's probably climbing up some peak trying to signal a hell attack unit. I guarantee he is working his ass off to survive and refusing to give up. I said, can't they use their scent, like the scent kind of shit, just like smell their way to him? But then there's also smoke and shit from the fire, so I don't know if like, I think that would just make it harder. We also don't know what happens when someone gets bit. We barely know anything about any of this shit. You saw their eyes. I don't know what I saw. Did you see mine? He is so in denial, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of aggravating. But you want to tell them everything about us? All the secrets that could get us killed? The secrets that we keep from every single person in the known fucking universe except for Garrett? See, he has a point, but then also you did just see that they're also wolves. So it's like, they're gonna be hiding shit too. So why do you think they're gonna... That's what I'm saying. Why would they tell their own secret if it's not their secret too? Fuck. Are they both gonna see each other while they're trying to sleep now again? Or not? Or maybe? How long is she gonna sleep? Next thing you know, it's gonna be nighttime. Okay then. What did I say? It's nighttime. So does she sleep for like a whole day? Or is that. Because, like, it showed the day going by, so yeah. Our dude's still running and going. Okay, not dead yet. Hopefully not dead at all. Don't tell me it's the wolf because it's like what if it actually is like Harlan and Luna's actual dad and that man got vengeance or something. Easily in daylight. But it will move and it will come for you. It has to kill you before the next full moon. How does it talk to you like telepathically? I thought what well, see he called through the phone the other day. I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Like, are they linked in a way? Everett? There's something against your door, Everett! So him and Blake did the same thing in putting a dresser against the door? The other night was difficult. I know, it's okay. I'm past it. We need to move forward, all right? Sure. Um, I don't know if I accept that apology from you. Maybe it should have been a little deeper and from the heart. But we're gonna wait on that. How many payments did you miss? <sighs> Too many. So now we don't have insurance. Look, life's hard, Blake. Don't, I know he's kind of shitty, but it kind of seems like he's a little trying, so. different about you what do you mean what'd you do to yourself Did you change your hair color again or? her skin I was about to say is he gonna notice like it's her skin it's been getting better for a while you just didn't notice looks pretty now shut up Danny she was always pretty don't come at him leave Danny alone Morning, Everett. 
glad we could catch you this time. I knew it was going to be her. Everett, she knows she didn't do anything. Shake the woman's hand. I didn't know handshaking could be so intense. Okay, because we have a lot of experience with liars. And you don't look like much of a liar to me. I went to see a friend. That sounds like a lie. It's not fully a lie. Everett. Do you remember the first part of our conversation? The part about you not lying? Do you need me to repeat that? My God. He isn't lying. Our list of suspects included everyone who was on that bus with you. Because arsonists like to watch their fires. That's right. Arson is... I forgot about that too. We still gotta figure out who the fuck that was. But I don't know who it could have been. What about Phoebe Caldwell or Tia Patterson, Connor Ryan? What can you tell me about them? I don't know who those people were. I'm figuring it's like the one girl and then the two guys that I seen. Can't study without this shit. I don't need anything making my anxiety worse. Fine by me. I got two hours out of the hospital after this. I thought that was the dude that they were suspecting, like one of them. And I gotta get tetanus shot. What for? Got bit by something on the highway during that old stampede. You were bitten? So does that mean he could possibly be something too? Like a wolf? Did you see it or not? There was a lot of smoke. I mean, okay, I guess maybe it could have been something else, like a mountain lion. But I think it would look a lot worse. Does he still have the Yeah, I was about to say, does he still have it? Just take it off. All right, shit. I'm just gonna wait for calls to experiment a little bit. <laughs> How's it look? Okay, so he still has his bite, so I guess he's not one. What if he, like, rejects the bite? Like, I wonder if that's, like, the same thing in Teen Wolf. Like, what if his body starts rejecting the bite, and then bam, he's dead. When you go see your doctor later, just call me and tell me what he says. About my leg? No, no, about the bite. Just call me. See, he kind of seems like a concerned friend, but also kind of not, because he has reasons for wanting to know. Uh, still I'm not worthy enough. Uh, just to trust. Yeah. Something is throwing me off. Two black cubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. No sign of the parents. Or that Loki kind of looked like Keanu Reeves for a second. I'm not gonna lie. That just went from a furry hand to a human hand. That must have been weird. Say it in a sentence. Ready. A full sentence. I am ready. She's gonna get him to a timer because of the speed thing. How long was it? You're not fast. <laughs> Straight up, you're not fast. You going out for the track team or are you running from something else? Didn't expect her to show up. How would she find him? See, I knew it felt like some kind of a connection in that gym scene. Ah. 
Was he just imagining it? I guess he was just imagining it. Or not. So it's a flat it was a flashback and that's then and there. Wait, you're Harlan, right? So was he just imagining it? Fall on it or anything, did you? I was trying to get away from a fire with one leg. Well, I would make sure you're staying off it as much as possible. Now. Well, he couldn't help it if he was also trying to get away from something, like. It burns. It's burning. It hurts. <laughs> 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 So maybe he is turning. Or maybe he's something else. I don't know. They're all going through some type of shit, like right before the full moon. I was about to say someone invisible, but it's just outside. Watch should be Harlan. <laughs> oh, so it wasn't real. They finally found him. Hell yeah! So it's like he's imagining shit too, but that's only because he's like dehydrated and stuff or running in a forest fire and not because he's a werewolf. It'd be weird if he did become one, but then... We gave your son a high dose of pain meds and a very strong sedative. But he's not in pain anymore, so that's good. But he's still awake. Cause like... He'd be completely knocked out right now. Yeah, those high doses should definitely knock him out, but... Okay, so he has to be something. Cause like, I, I feel like either he's gonna be a werewolf or... They're gonna like introduce another kind of creature. Nope. Guess I'll have to buy my own. Yep. He doesn't talk to strangers. And he never touches them. So he's warming up to him. Why aren't you running? Who is this? You're going to have to run. So now he's getting the damn phone calls too. If they took his crutches, then he shouldn't really need the thingy anymore if he like if his leg or whatever he has healed. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? You're staring. What's wrong with it? He was just looking at you. <laughs> it's not easy to not look at you. That didn't sound right. Okay. Okay, Everett. Okay. Did that make it even better now? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that. I thought y'all were gonna kiss. Or maybe you are. So not. Okay. I'm fine. I know. It's trying to find me. It's trying to kill me. Blake! Blake! Oh. 
how are they gonna f wait was he still at the hospital Imagine that bitch going straight to a hospital where it's full of people. It'd be pretty stupid to do that. No fucking way. You gotta tell me he's hallucinating. No, watch him actually end up dead. God damn. But again, that's still weird to me because it's like if he is a werewolf or whatever, shouldn't it be healing? You're dead. You're dead. I'm so happy you got to see her like right before they go do whatever he has to do to them, like, or what they have to do to him. I'm confusing myself. We're gonna need that two of you to come with us to answer a few questions. They just brought our dad in. We know. We still got questions. For what though? They weren't even on the bus. Unless it's just like about whenever they met up in the woods. Like. How the hell they found that man? He literally... Aren't they tracking you or something, bro? And it looks like you've got a few of your own. Oh my god. Come on. That... I'm mad that the episode ended like that. I swear. It's like... I was kind of excited in a way that we were getting like another werewolf but now he's dead he didn't even last a whole episode as a werewolf and like yeah his bite lasted longer than like theirs and it took him more longer to like change and everything but then it still kind of didn't make sense like with his shit not healing and everything like maybe it was just being slower i don't know but it was just weird but it's like now he doesn't even get to experience shit because he's dead because of the damn wolf. He's the first one that he got, like, that I got to. And then it's like, now he's going to go out. Well, he's already going after the others. But it's like, none of them seem to, like, be able to catch a break this episode. Like, it was so intense, but it was mostly because of the full moon, so I get it. But it was just so weird that it was different for like Harlan and Luna considering like they've been wolves for longer and shit. But like she said, it's like different for her this time. So I guess it's different for him. And it's like, I want to know why. Why is this different like this one time? Because like, is it really gonna, is like Everett and Blake changing like really causing everything to like be different and shit for them? Like, I don't know. Cause it's like, I, I just keep thinking back to Teen Wolf and it's like, it wasn't like that for Derek. Derek was born a wolf and even after Scott got bit, he he just helped him like control his shit. Like it, his full moons weren't different. Like, I don't know. I just don't know why I keep comparing it to that because it's a totally different series. So it's like, shit goes in different ways in this stuff. Like, I'm never going to not be able to, like, compare it to Teen Wolf since it is created by Jeff Davis, but here I am. 
but I'm just mad that that creature is I'm mad that the wolf is going after everyone like why is it so he can get more power like does him like turning them and then killing them does that give him more power because it's like I get it like if an alpha kills his beta or whatever I'm I'm guessing they like gain his power and he becomes more powerful so it's like is that how it works I don't know we're guessing but in this episode I'm not gonna lie Harlan has kind of been pissing me off like I like Harlan but then he has these moments where he's like so in denial about shit whenever he's seen it with his own eyes and it like bro why you saw their eyes and everything so like why are you questioning that they're not actually wolves like yeah they were bit so it's like different from you and luna but still y'all are basically in this together now and yeah you're not gonna want to tell them everything about your lives like so quickly but over time but i guess he just has to like warm up to them but it's just still so weird and that one scene, I was just so confused, like, with him and the other dude. Like, it's, like, they're working out in one scene and then making out in the other. And it's, like, I couldn't tell which one was which. Because, like, I thought maybe that happened after the gym or something. But I guess not. Like, I guess he was just imagining it while he was at the gym. It was just a whole weird scene. And then with the freaking horse coming in, like, for Luna, like, her little vision... It was all so weird, and I'm just, I kind of thought Connor was going to last a few more episodes, like a regular human friend, you know, now he's dead, because he's a wolf, well, no longer a wolf, he's dead, unless a dude just like, would he like not kill him? I don't think so, because the voice thing was already telling them that it was going to kill him. So I'm I'm guessing he is dead, cause it would it would be weird if it kept him alive. But I don't know. I'm ready to see our dude. I forgot his name, but that park ranger, the dad. I'm ready to see that man heal so he can get back doing whatever he's doing. Because I was rooting for him to get out of those damn woods because he seems like a good ass person, and he needs to get better. I need to see him, Harlan and Luna together together. So I guess come back for episode three.